Hi there, Rajesh Tadeja here again. So today we're going to talk about uh, um, triggers in Marketo. Uh, Marketo have uh, something called Smart Campaign and Smart Campaign is the basic uh, uh, building block of Marketo and Marketo programs. It's basically pretty simple and very, um, very useful concept and pretty easy uh, concept to understand. It's more like when something happens, when X happens, do Y and do it X number of, or Z number of times, right? So when something happens, do what and how often? That's kind of the smart campaign is about. So today we're going to look at the triggers. Triggers means when something happens and how do we define when something happens and how to what to respond to. And that's where we're going to look into. So this is, you see my screen here. Uh, we have, you know, this is the main screen you'll get a market of home and in the market of activities. Uh, that's where we write the marketing programs and all. And uh, let me go to my folder. Okay. Uh, so I have created a, a smart campaign, uh, which basically, um, and so as, as I was saying, a smart campaign is nothing, it's kind of denoted by bulb icon you will see here. It have few things, smart list, which basically denotes when to do, when this smart campaign will be activated, when it will be triggered. And also what are the other conditions uh, needs to qualify for it to be triggered. That's where we'll specify in the smart list. In the flows, we specify what needs to happen. And we have a lot of uh, variety of things we can do. In the schedule, we define how often and what kind of time uh, uh, time duration it will happen and how many times it can, can it be one time and all that. And the results basically shows the history of the smart campaign. But today's topic, we're going to talk a specific trigger only um, about, you know, uh, about what we can do. So as you see here, there are triggers and filters. So the triggers are when something happens and it basically gives market ability to listen to things as they happen and do action right away uh, when as on when things happen. Um, so today we're going to check one particular trigger because, you know, to explain it a lot, we will need a lot of it and I will be keep on adding uh, new videos as we go along. So today we are going to check about uh, when we uh, find a, let's say, clicks link in an email, right? So let's say here's the scenario. Um, when we send an email out, let's say we send, uh, we invite, um, uh, you know, we send an email out and inviting people to our webinar we are doing, right? We want to know how many people are clicking in the email. And when they click in an email, we want to, let's say, increase their score or, or something like that. So how do we do that? And that's where we will do. So basically, we will listen to a trigger called clicks link in an email. And that's the trigger it is. And that's what we will kind of look into it. So we can actually say email is and when it says email is, we can actually pick one of the emails which we have and, you know, is approved and all. And we cannot pick one of the emails like here, whichever is available or whichever the right email in that uh, email which we send. And that's pretty much it. So what will happen, what that tells is that as soon as somebody clicks on a link in the this particular email, this smart campaign will get triggered. But what if you say, hey, but that's great, but I want to know more about it. I don't want it to be um, just that generic or let me take it a step back. I don't want a particular email. I want to uh, basically happen it for uh, email which is any if somebody clicks on any link in any email I want something to happen and in that case you can use is any so in what we are saying here is that do this smart campaign or execute this smart campaign as soon as anybody clicks in any email which we have sent right so that's kind of uh, you want to do and maybe that's for generic scoring all across the programs you don't want to limit it to specific but you want to have it for the entire system you can also have contents. You might want to have uh, some things which are content. So you might want to have any, you might have an initiative, let's say uh, webinar 2000, uh, 2018 or something. And you have all the emails which are named webinar 2018 are the ones for that particular option. And you only want a specific action to execute it for on, all the links clicked for those emails only and things like that. Um, and if it is not, if it starts with, you have all those options as such. 
But what if you say, you know what, that, that's great, but I want to only send this, uh, do this behavior only if the user is coming and clicking on this link on a mobile, not on the Windows machine or not on a Mac. How do we do that? And that's where this little thing called add constraint comes in. So that's where we are saying is that let's say we want to say a platform or a device and we can actually pick the device uh, which it comes from and it can be device you know it's not drop down here but we can specify which particular device you want to try um, you know basically specific have a specific um, treatment and again it contains the same thing if uh, if it is android or, or thing like that you can say is android is not android or is and we can do that and if you don't want it you can just remove it you can say platform and same thing here mac os ios windows Linux, you can actually do that or specific uh, behavior, specific targeting the browser, uh, the platform. What if you say, I want to target something on a Google Chrome browser um, on the platform, if the email is open in, let's say Google on Google Chrome or Gmail or something, right? So, so you can do that. You can put Windows here and um, Google Chrome in the browser and um, things like that. What if you want to say, hey, you know what, that, that's great. I want to do everything. I, I don't need to specify which platform and uh, operating system, but I want to limit it by the people who clicked in in the last one week. So all you do is simply say one week and last one week you can. Uh, that's pretty much, uh, you know, anything you can do. You can uh, specify the time there. But what if What if you want to do is, uh, okay, you know what? I don't want to do uh, this. I want to do only serious people who have clicked on at least three times uh, on that link or any link in that email. That kind of shows me seriousness of that person. Let's say if that is a reason or that is a business uh, scenario, you can do so, right? And uh, so that's, that's uh, uh, one way to do that also and so as you see there are so many different ways you can do you can, uh, but but the main one of the main thing you might also have is the particular link maybe there are you know multiple links on that email and you don't want to have the generic um, kind of uh, treatment to all the links because some of the links might be different in like you know indication of different intensity or uh, intent than the others so you might have a link to the context source right now or click here if it's not urgent to you something like that you don't want both the links to be treated as the same so in that case you can actually pick and choose a link and based on if you have the email have all the links it will be shown up here it's dynamically shown up here this particular example email does not have a link but if it had it would show it would show the link uh, uh, items of the links for us to pick up here so so that's the that also gives a lot of flexibility for us to give a special different treatment or a, execute different workflow for different links in a different email or any email you want to do. So as you see, along with the constraints and the smart uh, and the trigger, you see a lot of uh, uh, flexibility and power here. There are other things like link ID and test variants and uh, those are also there which uh, we can use, but those are a little bit of uh, uh, advanced one and we can co cover them a little bit later. So that's pretty much about the clicks link in the email and a couple of things to note here. If we have a, a date of activity based uh, constant here, we can very well say last one year, but it more or less it may not work as well reliably. The reason is because as far as Marketo's uh, data retention policy, uh, click through history for last one year is not maintained unless you have specific arrangements or um, kind of billing relationship with Marketo, which will help them to retain it. But that's one thing I wanted to point that out. But other than that, that's, uh, that's again, clicks link in an email, just like any other uh, smart campaign trigger is very powerful and gives us a lot of functionality to do a lot of things very easily. And uh, that's about uh, this uh, video, small short video is and um, if you have any questions please feel to reach uh, feel free to reach out to me and don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, click on the button and subscribe because i'm adding new and uh, new videos as i 
uh, go along and I'm sure you will find some value. And if you have any questions, again, reach out to me and looking forward to uh, talking to on another video.